day we have turned up Tabata. It's going to be a short um, workout here and in bursts for time. So get ready to sweat. Here we go. We're going to start with just a light warm up side to side. Just kind of feel everything out first. When you're ready, get those butt kicks going. Now, if you can't jump, no problem. You're just stepping into it. So I'll show modifications and advancements throughout the workout, and you choose whatever you would like to do for both. I'll start with the advancement, and then I'll show the modify. Check in with those hips. So modified, you're just stepping, kind of open those knees, so you check in with those hips. No music today, but I'll change. Good, jump jacks. So again, if you can't jump, you're just stepping side to side, trying to have some fast feet. Good, we're gonna slow it down into some squats, check in with our squat form, kick the bum, squat, kick the bum, those hips are going back.
shoulders behind you, activate the back muscles, have them work. Tight tummy, 10 seconds there. Your pace, five, four, three, two, one, good. Come on up. Jump jack squats. Ready? And go ahead. Go jump jack squat. Again, if you throw yourself off with the arms, no problem. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. We have one more round of each. All right, we're ready. Set it up. Three, two, one. Mountain climber. Tight tummy. Strong shoulders. Wrists are under your shoulders. Palms are stretched out. Pressing evenly. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Come on up for our last star jump. Ready and go ahead. Adding the arm when you feel comfortable. You don't need them. Doing good, almost there. 15 seconds, or sorry, five seconds, five. Four, three, two, one, good. Water break. All right. Seeing where Jen is, she must have had to go. I'm still here. Just checking in with my technology. No, it's not working. My light turned off. All right. Another 30 seconds, and we'll go into our next moves. So our next moves, we're on our feet the whole time. So we're going to do our lateral jump. So it's a narrow squat. Jump to one side jump to the other. Trying to keep slight gap in between the feet um, and getting that squat, okay? And then we're going to switch it with lunge kicks. All right, we're ready. Lateral jump, ready, and go ahead. That's it. As you get comfortable, you want to add height, and distance, something to work towards. Four, three, two, one, good. Setting up those lunges. We're not there yet, don't worry. Grabbing in the heel, ready, and go ahead. Lunge, kick. So lunging back and then lifting that back leg up, Activating through the front heel, squeezing the glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Your legs are going to be on fire for this one. We'll alternate the lunges every other time. So there's one round, we do four. Three, two, one. Lateral jump. That's it. Get the bum back. You're in the heels for the squat, jumping out of the toes. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Lunge kicks with the opposite leg. Deep breath. Set it up. Ready and go ahead. Lunge kick. So activating that glute squeeze in the heel. Watch that front knee doesn't curve in. You can always add the kick to advance. Five seconds. Come on. And done. Good. Okay, there's halfway. Shake out that burn. Lateral 
couple jumps. Three, two, one, go ahead. You can always make the mini, right? Or step into it. No problem. Side to side, keeping a narrow squat. Five seconds, you got this. Good, all right, lunge kicks. Grounding that front heel. Watch that front knee. Activate that glute. Ready, and go ahead. Lunging down, kick. Good. Try and get as low to the ground as that back knee. A little tap or close to it, depending on your flooring. Five seconds, come on, good squeeze. Good. One more each. So your pace, slow, medium, fast, do you. Lateral jump, three, two, one, go ahead. So again, are you stepping it? You're keeping that lowness? Or are you advancing it? Blast, powerful jumps, high to side. To be squeezing the glute. Three, two, one, good. Last lunge kick. Doing good, doing good. All right, ground it in the heel. Watch that front knee. Ready, and go ahead. Down, kick. Bend that back knee, so that way you're going straight down. Full range of motion. Driving through the heel, clenching the bum. Five seconds. Good form, two, one, good. Water break. Whew. All right. Next, we're going to do some plank work back to back. We have plank press or we have plank jack. Tara, for your shoulders, try on the edge of a coffee table just to raise it so we activate the back a little bit more. The edge of a coffee table just so you have stability under your wrists. All right, plank presses. You can always modify or change anything at any point. Set it up into a high plank. Ready and go ahead. Coming down on the one elbow, pressing through the palm. So I'm only working with my left arm leading. Belly is tight, push through the palms. Keep that chest tall, activate the back muscles. Five, four, Three, two, one, good. Next, we're going to go into plank jacks. Nice tall plank, and then we're going to hop it side to side, or you can step it. Ready, and go ahead. Keep that chest tall. Keep those shoulders round behind you, away from your ears. Even hips, belly in, five seconds. So adding a modification or advancing. Good. All right. So for the 10 seconds in between, I'm just coming off my shoulders on my knees to give them a break. Working those shoulders. All right. Ready and go ahead. Plank pressing with the opposite arm this time. Push. Push. Doing good, doing good. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Setting up for those plank jacks. Three, two, one. 
time and I'm going to do the jump to show the alteration or the advancement. Ready and go ahead. So you're either pulsing in the spot or jumping, still focusing on that blue squeeze no matter what. Doing good. Halfway. In the heel, clench the bum when you're down. Three, two, one. Good. You're halfway. Deep breath. Three, two, one. Go ahead, side lunge. All right, get that form. It's all about trying to get that squeeze. Ooh, we got some more girls. Come on, come on. There's halfway. You're in the heel. Bum goes back. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. So again, pulses, hanging out, or adding a jump. Three, two, one, go ahead, bum goes back, clenching, belly buttoning if you're pulsing, otherwise you're adding explosive. Even hips, bum goes back, clench it when you're down, clench, push, clench, push. Three, two, one, good. Side lunge, deep breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Get that lowness. Get that squeeze. Come on, come on. Bum goes back. My hips are still even. Clench the bum cheeks on the down. Clench. Clench. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Last jump or last pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Come on, come on. Clutch the bum. Keep those hips going back, hinging. Add a Kegel squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Water break, good job. We are halfway. Doing good. So now we're going to go back down on the mat. All right. Our next two moves, we're going to do push-ups and then flip on our backs for any kind of core workout on your back. I'm going to do the stars. Tapping, but if you've done that one recently, you're more than welcome to do a flutter, leg hold, or the reverse crunch. Whoo! All right, push-ups. Let's set it up. So option one, you're right on the toes. Roll the shoulders back, coming right down, driving through the palms. You can go wider for more chest. Drop the knees, but that bum doesn't stay up. It comes in, the shoulders are behind you. Tight tummy, drive through the palms, okay? Ready, and go ahead. Let's see how many you can get in the 20 seconds. Push, push. Palms are pressing evenly. Spread those fingers, it's halfway. Push, tight tummy. Don't let that bum droop. Three, two, one. Good. Flipping over. So any kind of flutter, star, or just a hold. Ready, and go ahead. So modified, keep your back down and you're just reaching toe to toe. Bend that knee, bring those legs to you. You're still gonna feel in the core. Belly button drawn in. Advance. You're coming off the floor. Meeting your legs halfway and done. Good. That's the moves. So flipping back and forth, we have push-ups. As long as you have good form, you can do 
a half push up or a full push up. Ready and go ahead. Drive through the palms, keep that chest going towards, not just the nose. A lot of people just bring their head. You want that chest going down, drive through the palms as if you're pushing the ground away from you. Tight tummy. Two, one, good. Flipping over. Three, two, one, go ahead. Tight tummy, even hips. You got this, you got this. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Good. There's halfway. Three, two, one, push up. Tall chest, drive through the palms, tummy's tight, don't droop that bum. If you find you're drooping it, you need to drop the knees. Come on, shake the arms, press. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, let's get stronger. Rolling over, star. Three, two, one, go ahead. Tummy is tight, belly button drawn in. Protect that back by keeping those legs slightly bent. It's a hollow rock. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. One more of each. You can do it. Hooey. Five, four, Three, two, one. So I start on my toes every time. Even if I just get one, and then when I'm done, I drop to the knees to finish. Keep that chest tall. Press through those palms. Push that floor away from you. Use those arm muscles. Use those chest muscles. Three, two, one. Good. One more. Star. Shoot. Oh no. Okay. Go ahead. Belly button drawn in. You got this. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Water break. All right. Hang on. I've got some people that are joining me through um, Google Meet and my iPad just died. So as soon as it boots up, I might, you might just see me run off and vlog it back in. 15 seconds of water break. So our next move, we have curtsy lunges and glute raises. So curtsy lunge, if you think about a classic lunge, you're going down, up. Watching that front knee and heel, however, with the curtsy lunge, that back, our hips are still even, that back toe just crosses over, so it rounds around that glute just a little bit more. All right? Okay, we're ready, and go ahead. That's it, so you can come right off and do a leg lift if you have the balance. If you don't have the balance, the back leg or the back toe just stays down, okay? Keep those hips even. You're not weeble wobbling. Oops. Three, two, one. Good, and then we're coming right down. Grounding our elbows into the ground, our heels are in the ground, and we're gonna clench the bum. There's your modify, and the advance is a single leg lift. All right, ready, and 
Go ahead, I'm going with the single. It's only 20 seconds. Keep that tailbone tucked in, belly button drawn in, press through the heel, clench the bum at the top. Tiny move, not moving too much. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Come on up, other side. So, curtsy lunge, set it up. Two, one, go ahead. So again, lift or keep that toe grounded. Keep going, keep going. I'm just gonna try and log us back in here. Two, one, good. Now you're doing a glute lift with the other leg. Set it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. All right, sorry guys. Can't see me. Hang on, keep going. I'm here, hello, five. Four, three, two, one. Thank you. Going into a curtsy lunge. Five, four, three, two, one. Curtsy lunge. So just focusing on that curtsy lunge. You got it. Just keep going, keep going. Clench that thumb, even hips. Three, two, one, good. Coming down to the ground for a hip raise, single leg. So single leg, hip raise. Grounded in the heel, use those elbows to press through the ground. Ready, and go ahead. Clench that thumb, push through that heel. Keep that tailbone tucked in, push. Push, you got this. There's halfway, clench it. Don't let that knee curve in. You're staying strong and activated. Heel and glute. Three, two, one. Good. Come on up for that other lunge. Curtsy lunge. Ready and go ahead. Curtsy lunge. So you can keep that back toe grounded or you can do a tap. However you would like. Clenching that bum, keeping that heel engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, come on down for that hip raise. Other leg, set it up, ready, and go ahead. Drive through the heel, clench the bum, tailbone tucked in. Core engage, push, push. You got this. Hang on, hang on. Five seconds, a little higher. Three, two, one, good. We have one more of each. Lori and Tara, that would mean you just missed one, I think. I might be off my timing. Ready, and go ahead. Curtsy lunge. Curtsy lunge. If you're live from my website, and technically this is an extra, you just get a little extra water break. Hang on, hang on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Last glute raise. Come on down. Set it up. Round the heel. Ready and go ahead. Drive through the heel. Clench the bum. Use those elbows to get a little higher. Push. Push. Come on, you got this. Fight for five. Four, three, two, one. Good. There's a water break. Tara and Lori, uh, yeah, Tara and Lori, if you wanted to do one more of each so you're even, you can do that now during water break. Ready and go ahead. I'm still going to time for you guys. And this isn't going to interrupt the water break for my live. I think 
that'll make it even for you guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, and then you're doing your last leg raise. Three, two, one, go ahead. You got this, you got this. Everybody else who's water break, as soon as they're done, we're gonna dive back in. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, our next move, we're gonna do a sumo squat. So you're nice and wide in your squat stance. Toes are going out. The knees follow the line of the toes. You are still making those hips go back, but those knees are open, okay? So the option is to hold it. That's what's gonna be the advanced. And the modified is you're coming out of it, okay? And then we're gonna pair it with everybody's favorite, a burpee, all right? All right, sumo squat, bringing that heart rate back up this round. Ready, and go ahead. Toes go out, clench the bum, even hips. Why is it doing that? I just lost them again. It's only my power cord. Three, two, one, good. Next one, we have burpee. Classic burpee. God. Ready and go ahead. Come out of the burpee. Toes up. Give a hop. Hands down first. Step into it for modified. Come on up on those toes. Hands down first. Jump into it. Come on up. You versus you at your pace. Three, two, one. Good. All right, coming back up for those sumos. Man, I don't know why, I don't know why. Three, two, one, sumo, go ahead. You got it. So I'm just hanging out nice and low, hips are even, knees are going out towards those toes, clench the bum. Kind of staying right where it's all firing up. Three, two, one, good. Come on up for that burpee. You got this. Three, two, one, go ahead. Hands down first, then hop it, jump, or step it. You got this. Burpee, 
Four hands are under your bum. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, last round. Last, last round. Last two exercises and we're done. Ready? And set it up, go ahead. Bend that back knee. So you're going down. Feel that stretch in that back hip. In that front heel, that front knee is open, pressing off the heel. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, last flutter. You can do this, you can do this. Ready, and set it up. Go ahead, point the toes. Point the toes, activates the thighs, that's why we want to do it. Add that crunch if you're advancing. Belly button drawn in, even hips, flex the fight. Five, four, three, two, one. We are done. Awesome. All right, I'm just going to walk us through a bit of a stretch here. If you're going to hit stop at any point, just make sure you stretch throughout the day when your muscles are warm, whether it's after a shower or in the shower, be careful of. <laughs> All right, grounding the heel, grabbing by the shoelace or the ankle on that back leg, you bend the one knee, keep that knee open, and then press through the heel. Side view, keep going, you can always use a wall if you need. Nice and tall with that body, a little deeper if you've got it. Breathing. Press through that heel, open that hip. Good, we're gonna step back into that lunge. How low can you go? Yes, you're bending that back knee, but then you're pushing the heel to the back wall. Watch that front knee, you're still in that front heel. Arms are up, nice good stretch. Squeeze the elbows together. Good, come on up. Back leg or back ankle goes over the knee. Balance first, take a seat. Feel that stretch in the hip, make sure you're breathing. Exhale, a little deeper if you've got it. Find that sweet spot. <sighs> Release the tension. <sighs> Come on up, check in with the hips. All right, other side. Quad, knee to knee, nice and tall. Bend the one knee, push through the heel. <sighs> a little deeper if you've got it. Open that hip. Good. Step back into that lunge. Bend the one knee. Strong in that front heel. Watch that front knee. Press the heel back. When you're ready, add the arms. Stretch it. Squeeze those elbows back. Stretch that back hip. Push that heel. Three, two, one. Good. Back ankle. Over the knee. Balance first. Take a seat. Breathing, sink into it a little deeper, find that sweet spot, release that tension on the exhale. You got it. All right, let's widen our stance here. Slight bend in the knee, hinging or folding right in half. Side view if you need. Sink into it. So I keep a slight bend in the knee so we don't hyperextend. Drop that neck, let it all dangle. We're going to walk over to one foot, sink into it for two good exhales. Good, walk it over to the other foot, sink into it for two good exhales. One hand on each foot, one more time, two good exhales. Pressing those hips up to the sky. Slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. The neck is the last thing to come up. Nice wide swoops with the arms. Trigger happy, slight bend in the knee. Belly button in, we're gonna stretch to the side. Two good exhales here. Sinking into it a little deeper, one more time. Tight tummy. Reset, other side. Good. 
Good. Tight tummy. Reset. We're going to roll those shoulders back. Try and get those shoulders in behind us. Out of the neck. Out of the ears. Two good exhales. Good. And then I'm going to set with the neck. I'm going to hold the top of my head. But this hand is going to reach the ground. So I'm not pulling my neck or pulling my head. Stretching simply by reaching the floor with the other arm. A little deeper into the exhales. Good. Tight tummy, other side. Good job. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Virtual high five. Have a good day.